about the organ, so I suppose I'd best know that. It opened here in 2009, and uh, it's owned by Michael Hunt. And uh, the installation work took place uh, through perhaps uh, David out a lot. Uh, the organ didn't specifically come from one location. Uh, it's made up of parts from around the world. The console uh, was originally an organ stock piece in Mesa, Arizona, uh, but there's pipe works from four corners of the, the universe, pretty much. But it all has blended together lovely, and all credit to David and, and team. Now, I've bought a prop for this. How many of you have got this album? There's not as many as I thought. Well, this, this was my first introduction to John Mann. And it came from Scope, charity shop. <laughs> my favourite album of, of your output. There's, there's something wonderful about you on uh, Tony Manning's Christie, uh, and uh, it was a, a fine organ, and uh, I just, I just, I love the album. And, uh, you signed it to me? Yes. <laughs> Obviously not when it came out in, what was it, it was 1974, so uh, you're only, you're only two years old then, weren't you? Anyway, we've had a wonderful afternoon and great to socialise and catch up with many people, but it's time for me to hand over to uh, the man who is really making this afternoon's magic, uh, his eminence, Mr. Sussex by the Sea, coming up the stairs over there, John Mann!
witching hour and the news came on and then there was a bit more news and the first bit got cut out. <laughs> but I did manage to get a little bit of the ending. There'd been a crash on the motorway or something and uh, took up my, my time. So that was that. Anyway, uh, back to this afternoon. I'm going to play you some, now some pieces that uh, I've put in the uh, on the title as sort of uh, uh, what are they? Evergreens, things that you know I have played over the years. And uh, the first piece is a, a bit of an iconic thing, and you wouldn't associate it with this type of organ, but it gives me a nice opening part to this uh, group of pieces. <sighs> I'm so nervous; it's ridiculous. <laughs> Mind you, I come from a nervous family. <laughs> well, if my father hadn't been so nervous, I'd be 21 now. <laughs>
whilst I think about it, you may remember also that we were going to try and get John's autobiography done and ready for today. Unfortunately, I didn't quite manage it, so sorry about that. But we do have some forms here. Um, if anybody would like to express an interest in being told when it's ready or when it is, I can let you know. So we'll give those out to everybody on the way out. Now we're going to come to the exciting bit. We've got some more duets. <laughs> Well, we're going to do it anyway. So. Um, this first one, I don't really know why we're playing this, do you? Um, because it's, it's completely the wrong time of year, and the fella that's involved with it doesn't like organs. So, he wrote a very nasty piece about future organs, actually. But anyway, the music is by Howard Blake. I'm talking about, what's his name? I forgot his name. Raymond Briggs, that's right, he wrote the piece. Um, this is to do with the snowman, very appropriate, isn't it? And this is Walking in the Air.
lovely afternoon and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. I'd also like to thank Damon who was very good at being press ganged into doing the announcing. Wasn't that nice of it? Thank you very much.
Patrice Pitton. <laughs> anyway, we're very proud to have him here this afternoon. There's no end of people who have relations. I've got my brother, as I told you, my his three daughters and wives, etc. So, uh, who else is here? <laughs> Uh, he's a brick, Michael. He really is. So, uh, to finish off. 